Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Another day and more things to update you on about what's been going on and what has been happening. Now, yes, I am still under the weather, which is why the mic is very, very, very close to me right now. And hopefully we can get through this whole video. Now, Ripple responds to the SEC motion to strike its fair notice defense. Of course, this was going to happen. Now, right now, where we are in the market, from a market perspective, you know, we're sitting at, you know, Bitcoin at 42,700. It's right on the cusp of resistance. If it breaks above 43,000, it's going to be a really, really good day. Now, we are waiting patiently for that. I think it's 8.30 a.m. New York time. So around midday in Adelaide, midnight in Adelaide where we will learn the fate of the interest rates. Now, 7% and lower, and we are in the clear as far as the crypto market. It would be very bullish for the crypto market. If we get 8%, then we are in trouble and there will be a little bit more blood for the crypto market before we continue to rise again. What do you think? Only a couple of hours away at the time of this video going live, but what do you think? Do you think we're going up? We're going down, the interest rates are gonna stay at seven, and they're gonna go all the way up to eight, who knows? Now, attorney for Ripple Labs filed a response with the federal judge Monday, asserting the US Security Exchange Commission is misapplying a recent ruling in another case in an attempt to deprive Ripple of an affirmative defense in the ongoing lawsuit. So, we knew that this was gonna get ugly, that it was gonna get ferocious, that it was gonna get aggressive. And that's exactly what is going on. Now, there are rumors that the January 19 deadline has been pushed back another month due to Omicron. However, those are rumors at the moment, and I will definitely keep you updated, especially tomorrow when I find out more information on whether it's just FUD. But I think pushing back another month and using Omicron as the excuse would be pretty ridiculous. I really hope it doesn't happen. Now, Metaverse fans are paying up to $300,000 for a virtual property instead of buying a real house. I will be touching up more about the Metaverse on the channel in the coming weeks, months, as it will be an important part of, well, 2022. But to pay $300,000 for a virtual property right now, it is pretty crazy what is going on at the moment in the Metaverse market. But we will be touching up on it and some of the ones that I'm involved in, I'm involved with NetVRK, for example. Just bought some land today. Just bought some land on NetVRK. So do check it out and you know do your homework. And please, when it comes to Metaverse, you really, really got to do your homework to make sure that the project is actually going to deliver what they promise. And it's not just hype, which there's a lot of hype at the moment in that, in that particular space. Now, the Central Bank of Bahrain successfully completes its digital payment trial using JPM coin. As I said, there is going to be more and more and more banks jumping on the CBDCs and creating their own coins, and I will definitely keep you updated on how that's all going. The US lawmaker hints at upcoming crypto legislation as Jerome Powell says Fed will release report on digital currency soon. So this is very exciting. We have apparently a couple of weeks until the Feds come up with their own report. This is very, very exciting because I think it will be bullish for the entire industry. And that makes me really excited. Now, RippleX releases XLS20 Dev Network and NFT DevNet. Now, more NFT things are going to be coming up on the Ripple, Ripple XRP blockchain. And so we'll definitely keep you updated on, what, on how that's progressing and what are going to be some of the exciting projects on there. Now, the Fed today released a very bullish news said the fed chair says a us cbdc and stable coins could coexist that is massive for the industry absolutely massive for the industry that is really really exciting to see for the feds to say that stable coins could coexist with the us cbdc that is very 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 bullish in terms of what's going on at the moment with the price you know, we, we had a low of 73 cents. We have a high of 77. We're currently sitting at 76 at the time of making this. But we are still within this window. Now, I did mention that we could go as low as 64, 65 cents. And we, have, we did touch 70 cents flat. Now, 
should the news come out tomorrow bearish for the industry, like the interest rates go up, then we will see those 64, 63 cents. So you're not, you haven't pretend, you haven't necessarily lost your opportunity to get in at a cheaper price. However, should the news come out that the interest rates are gonna be the remaining seven or lower, then yeah, you have lost your opportunity, which always happens, right? So it's always that agreed. People try and get the best possible entry and then they always miss out on it because they wait, 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 wait. So once you've made up your mind, just get in. It's the best, best advice that I can give you because we are gonna start the road towards $2.64 very, very, very soon. All the indicators are looking mighty fine at the moment. And there's a lot, a lot of bullish, uh, bullish signals happening at the moment. Now, from a charts perspective, we know that we're in this particular pattern at the moment. Like I said, tomorrow will be very, very important to see whether the interest rates go up or down. And we'll wait patiently to see how that unfolds. But at the moment, we are waiting for that breakout break above $1.20, consolidate above $1.20 so we can continue to move forward and go towards the double digits. Now, where Bitcoin is at at the moment, I think Bitcoin is doing something very similar to what XRP is going to be doing from a, from a price action point of view. So it's going to be very interesting these next 24 hours, how these next 24 hours unfold. But I think potentially 70 cents was the bottom, which is exciting, very very, very, very exciting. Now, this massive cup and handle that has been forming, it's been going on since 2018. When it does take off, it's going to take off like a rocket. And you know what? I'm going to be with you every single step of the way. If you did learn something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.